humans and future AI overlords. I'm using Microsoft Excel and I'm on a Mac. And did you know that Microsoft Excel was first released on the Mac September 30th, 1985? Which means it's like 38 years old, which is insane. Um, its beginning was in a program called Multiplan released by Microsoft. Uh, it can its competition was Lotus 123 that was pretty popular, and it basically took over uh, that competition on the Mac and Windows platform. And it's just evolved constantly. It has over 450 functions in it, and I don't use anything near that. But one of the cool things that's been added is Copilot. Uh, Copilot are the artificial intelligence capabilities that Microsoft has been adding into a lot of its tools, operating systems, applications, uh, chatbots, you know, stuff like that. So uh, here we're going to take a look at uh, Microsoft Copilot in Excel. Now know that Copilot in Excel um, needs you, you know, you'll need to have a Microsoft 365 subscription, family or personal, and then purchase the Microsoft Copilot Pro subscription in order to get the Copilot functionality. So uh, you may have uh, Microsoft Copilot at work, uh, which is great. Uh, it's still kind of rolling out to lots of people and you may be using it there or you may be using it personally as well through a, a personal subscription. Uh, but some of the important things to note about using uh, the Copilot functionality in Microsoft is the files need to be in OneDrive or SharePoint. So if you've got files stored on a network drive or on the hard drive of a PC, you can't use Copilot on those files. Those files must be in the cloud in OneDrive or SharePoint. Also, if you've got data inside of Excel, it has to be converted into a table. And many times when you bring data into Excel, it will tell you, uh, I can convert this into a table for you and kind of help you make that process. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on the Copilot icon and it brings up the Copilot pane. One thing to note, this says preview. So it looks like, um, you know, uh, this is a little bit different than what I've seen in some of the other versions uh, in the Microsoft 365 apps. But um, you can see it's grayed out. So, you know, it, it has some, some ideas for some capabilities, uh, some options that you can take, but basically it gives you the option to start with an Excel table. So it says you need an Excel table in this sheet to continue. If you wanna see an example, I have one ready for you. Like, awesome, that's just awesome. So boom, look at that, done. I've added the sample table, try some of the suggestions to see how I can help. So this is awesome. There's also an undo button, which is super cool. Um, and you've got some, you know, some prompts here, show data insights, show suggestions for formula columns. How can I highlight, filter, and sort data? So it's got some suggestion prompts here. But um, you can see in this sample table, it's got campaign owner, campaign name, launch date, campaign type, budget, revenue, total users, targeted, engaged users. That's pretty cool. And if I scroll up here, you see these are now available for me to select, which is really cool. So let's just see here. Let's just navigate around and see what we find. Um, so if I can click add a formula, and so basically it says it can quickly add new columns with formulas, suggest, uh, select a suggested prompt or describe to what columns you'd like to add. So it could be like add a column that combines campaign owner and campaign name. Well, I don't really want that, but I'm going to go ahead and just click refresh. And um, it's doing some other suggestions here. Which is the most uh, common campaign name, percentage distribution of campaign type, percentage of total. So, I mean, it's really kind of getting, uh, you know, getting some good uh, examples for you. So that was add a formula column. I'm going to click a highlight. And so highlight says need to highlight portions of data. I can help with that. And then it goes some selection prompts. So uh, it's got bold the first column, uh, show items with campaign type of digital marketing. Um, so that's pretty cool. Let's see here. I'm going to go up here and I'm going to click sort and filter. And it's giving, I can sort and filter data to keep things organized. Uh, select a suggested prompt or describe what you'd like to do. So show items with a budget of $500 or bold the first column. So 
I mean, I love this, that it's giving you options because when you're new to these tools, it's sort of like, oh my God, there's an AI in here. What can I do with it? Like, it's gonna help you get started. I'm gonna click on analyze. Let's see what it says here. So it says, I can analyze data and show insights and charts and pivot tables. Super awesome. Uh, se select a suggested prompt or describe what you'd like to know. So it's got some samples here, uh, suggestions, campaign type, the total engaged users higher than 7,000. You know, so that's, that is amazing. Um, I really think that's, that's pretty cool. And this just shows you options you can learn. You can see down here in the prompt area, you can put uh, up to 2000 characters for text. You can do, you can input text here. You can paste in a prompt here or type in a prompt. Um, you can also use voice input. And then this is the send button when you've got your prompt done. You can also click view prompts. And this brings us some of those like high level, create, understand, edit, ask, and you can view more prompts as well. Um, this is the Copilot lab and it has lots of options in here. Um, but if I go back up here, you can see that these are basically the Excel options that are kind of uh, given to you. And then it will recommend prompts based on that. So that is pretty amazing. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, I'm going to put, I'm going to type in some prompts. Um, so let's just go here and ask, uh, how many campaign owners? So it's working on it, understanding your data. I like how it does that very visual, you know, it's working on things. And just so you know, the size of your data and the amount of time it takes to understand it, uh, it there's a direct correlation. So you've got lots and lots of data. It will take some time to figure that out. So it's saying I've got a distinct count of campaign owners of nine. So when you're looking at campaign owners, cause some are duplicated, if I clicked the filter here, you know, I could look at this to see that I've got nine, um, but you can see in here, it gave me, it gave me the uh, option to showing me, um, and I can click add it to a new sheet. Uh, if I wanted to look more at it, I could copy this information. Now, don't forget this pane here, when I close this file, this pane disappears, all the information and data you collected and insights and stuff that are in the pane disappears. So make sure if you want that information, you copy it before you close this file. Um, so it looks here. Um, so that, so it gave me nine campaign owners, which is correct. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask it to create a new column and let's see here. I'm going to ask it, add a new column with profit. So we have budget and revenue in here. Let's see if it can come up with that. So generating formula column suggestions. And we've got our, our prompt in here. And we've got our responses right here. And you have to stop generating if it's just going on forever. And you're like, yeah, this is taking too long. I got to move on. Um, I haven't had any prompts go on for a super long time, but I haven't done very sophisticated content, to be honest. So uh, what it's doing here is it's saying, here's a formula uh, column to review and insert, calculates the profit of each campaign. So profit is revenue minus budget. So, and you can see when I hover over it, you see that profit shows up there. So I'm gonna click insert. And then boom, we've got a profit column done. So it's got done, I inserted the profit column, it's I, and there you've got that. That is so cool. Um, let's see here. So let's say um, I wanna make it a little bit more visual. So I'm gonna say um, highlight profit in green when over 5,000. And I like how profit was, is in currency, which is great. If it doesn't generate it in the format you want, you can tell it, move it in currency. Look at that, highlighted it green. That's sweet when it's over 5,000 and it gives you the information and you have an undo, you know, all that. That's really cool. So if you need to change, like if this wasn't showing up as currency, you could tell it, show profit as currency, uh, which is cool. So, um, but what I love about the Copilot is um, exploring the data that you're looking at 
and just, you know, having a, um, you know, a more of a conversation. So I'm going to ask it, which campaign generated the most profit? So if you had like these huge tables with lots and lots of information, um, you know, you might want to filter or sort things and stuff like that, but you could just ask the Excel sheet, you know, questions like this, which I think is uh, super amazing. So it, yep, it's telling me top campaign by profit. Uh, so it says, Feb email West 15,000. Yep, right here, that is the, the, the most profitable. I could add that to the sheet, um, you know, to, to, to like look at what's kind of behind that in that pivot table. Um, I think what I'm gonna do here though, I have an idea, I wanna make it even a little bit more visual. So I'm gonna ask it to add an icon if the profit um, is less than zero. So let me see here, I've got, Let's see what it does with adding an icon into the list. Because I like visual information. I'm a big Power BI user and I love it. And Excel can do all these amazing things as well. Um, and you can see here, I just have to expand this column out, but it added um, some arrows in there. So it says done. I made the following changes, created an icon, uh, created an icon set, conditional formatting, um, three arrows gray. Um, so it's got the, you know, the, the up arrow, the down arrow, and the sideways arrow, which is, I mean, that's cool. And what's interesting is I've had it create different icons in different contexts. So um, it's really, um, it's really pretty, pretty amazing, uh, but it's really the context of your data. Let's see here. Um, I'm going to have it, uh, to, I'm going to have it, uh, can you make a line chart showing profit by month? Let's see if we can get it to create a visual inside the Excel. I used to be a big pivot chart person and look at that. So it's got uh, profit by year and month and launch date. So it created a line chart. I can click add uh, to a new sheet. It added it right here. That's really fantastic. We only have two months. So of course it's a very short period, but still um, I think that's awesome. Um, uh, so I'm going to actually go back here to the sheet, and I'm going to also ask it, um, are there any trends? Let's see if it can identify any trends in the table. So analyzing your data. Okay, look at this. Okay, so it's showing, are there any trends? It's showing some budget outliers. So according to the data, the budget column has outliers. Um, but just, I mean, I love this. So you can just click and pull this in uh, to your data. You know, you can grab these charts, use them as part of your presentation, you know, make modifications to them, things like that. Um, so this is really amazing. And I feel like what Copilot is going to do is it's going to make some Excel functionality much more accessible to people that maybe aren't like super hardcore Excel users. Um, and it may make those hardcore Excel users excited to get some of the things done that just maybe takes a lot of time to do, uh, where it could augment and speed up some of that behavior. But I feel like with this tool, um, I have the ability to just, I have it identify insights, you know, highlight information, add some visuals, generate some formulas, you know, uh, uh, some formula columns. Um, I can interact with the Excel and ask it questions. Um, it's really, you know, pretty amazing stuff here. Um, and I am uh, extremely excited about Copilot um, in, in all the Microsoft 365 tools, but hopefully you'll see that uh, Excel plus Copilot is a whole new experience and just know that this is the, you know, is really, Copilot is only going to get smarter. It's going to get more capable, um, you know, and, and having that Copilot help you get your work done faster, um, help you learn Excel and use it better. All these 450 functions in there that are kind of hidden deep for like hardcore Excel users. You're going to begin to explore that and, and, and leverage some of that functionality by just, interacting with your Excel file and interacting with your, with your co-pilot. 
Uh, so this is very exciting stuff. This is all very new stuff. It's going to be interesting to see how things adapt and grow and change in the tool, how people adapt and grow and change with the tool and how co-pilots and humans work together to get stuff done in your personal life, in your work life. Um, I think the future just looks amazing. But uh, thank you for watching this video. See you in the next one and keep excelling. Thank you.